It's only fitting to kick off today's episode highlighting women in the field of cardiothoracic surgery with the society's first female president to hold office. Dr. Jennifer Romano, thank you for joining us here in studio. We're so happy to have you. Thank you, it's a pleasure. When you first started your term, you talked about wanting to focus on resilience and vulnerability. Why was that so impactful for you? Cardiothoracic surgery is an incredibly stressful profession. And to get through the training, to get through the challenges of a career in cardiothoracic surgery, you have to have resilience. But resilience is your ability to survive challenges, but you also have to thrive at the other end. And so making sure that we got that message and how we balance work and life and all the things that we need to keep our buckets filled. And I think through vulnerability, sharing our stories where we may have been challenged, where we may have stumbled, are incredibly healing for ourselves, but are very empowering for others. You've had a very impactful year, but I would love to know what are some of your highlights that you're proud of? Well, I really wanted to listen to the membership in terms of what they needed. So one of the things is our thoracic sur surgery community was in need of more attention in terms of making sure that we were really addressing their needs and creating a presidential task force to address what really our thoracic surgery colleagues needed most. We've rolled out new risk calculators to help them guide counseling of their patients with lung cancer and esophageal cancer. They've created a new Thinking podcast, Thinking Thoracic podcast, which is now apparently one of the top 5% podcasts out there in the healthcare industry, which is phenomenal all in just one year. We've looked at our star ratings. We've tried to create new tools to make it easier for people to access the STS information through an app that will shortly be coming out for the risk calculators, through um, a new AI, way of looking through the content within the STS platforms called Cora, so that you can get the information you need as fast as possible. Basically, the bottom line is we want to support the community. We have a new STS Career Center for our early careerists to help them find jobs, negotiate their first contract, and set off to a successful career. Wonderful. You also, this year, you started the Nina Starr Braunwald Center, and you selected Dr. Jennifer Doudna as the lecturer. How did that come to be? So Nina Star Braunwald is an incredible woman. I had an opportunity to give a, a visiting professorship in her honor, and I spent a great amount of time learning about her story. She was the first female cardiac surgeon to be board certified. She was the first person to do a mitral valve replacement. And she did this back in the 60s while also having a family of three children in a dual career household. And she kind of tackled it all. And we've made, made huge progress for women in this field, but in many ways, we haven't. And so honoring her legacy is really helping us guide our future and what we need to do to continue to move women forward in this specialty. Jennifer Doudna was really an easy pick. Here is this incredible woman who, through hard work and her research, has created a tool that's really gonna transform medicine and much of the world with this ability to do gene editing. And how do we do that in a meaningful way that is helpful for our environment and for our patients? And to be one, when she won her Nobel laureate, it was the first time that a totally women's research team won the Nobel Prize. So as you'll see threaded throughout the meeting, we're trying to honor women who have achieved great things. Um, all of our keynote speakers are women. We've tried to highlight different venues in the LA area for our events that also uh, have female chefs or are places that are special for women in business. Thank you for all that you do. We really appreciate your time. Great, thank you very much. It's been very nice to meet you.